Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inx Laura123. Now last week me and my lovely fiance Nathan went to London. We visited the Tower of London, an amazing historical place. It is amazing there. I love it so much. I've been before uh, but this time is extra special because I'm more kind of into history now than I was when I'd gone previously. So when I was looking at everything I was like really really interested in it you know. Um, it's just an amazing place so if you've never been I recommend that you go because it really is awesome. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be doing a bit of a shopping haul. Uh, here's my bag, which is pretty cool. Love this bag. Um, yeah, just stuff that we got whilst we were there. There's lots of gift shops there, so you can get lots of goodies. And yeah, it's an amazing place. Literally, all you do is either go to Fenchurch Street Station or Tower Hill Station, um, and it's literally outside. You'll come out of the stations. And you'll see it because it's like huge. Um, honestly, it's really worth your while going. Really fun, really interesting. And uh, yeah, you just feel really special as you walk around and you feel that kind of, you know, all that stuff that's happened in the past, all that history, all that emotion. Um, so yeah, I really recommend you go and uh, look around the Tower of London. So yeah, I'm going to show you what's in the bag. We've got some goodies whilst we were there. And also, if you carry on watching after the shopping haul part of this video, uh, you'll see some photographs that we took whilst we were there. So yeah, I hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like and comment and please subscribe to my channel because that would be amazing and awesome and yeah. <laughs> all right, okay. So, first of all, can we just say how amazing this bag is? Like, it's so lovely. I love this shopping bag so much. It's so lovely. Um, as you can see, of course, there is the Queen's crown or one of her crowns. Um, you've got the diamonds there as well. Now, I actually uh, saw this. We visited the, uh, the uh, part of the museum where you can see all the crown jewels and stuff. And it is so majestic and special and uh yeah it's like wow you're just looking at these things thinking the queen has wore this the queen has wore this um anyway not just the queen kings as well obviously of the past um but yeah it's a really nice to see all the crown jewels and stuff and uh you stand on this kind of like flat escalator is the only way i can describe it like a travelator i suppose and you just go along really slowly and then you can just look at everything as you go along and oh it's it's magical seriously so Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it says on the side of the bag, it says Historic Royal Palaces, Tower of London. Uh, so I'll read you this bit of information. The Tower of London was open to all in the reign of Queen Victoria. At the same time, many parts of the castle returned to their medieval appearance and form. We are proud to use Victoria's royal coat of arms to show that um, with elements in its design that go back almost a thousand years. The pattern for the tower is the south face of the white tower, the silver grey stone of the ancient Norman keep and an enduring symbol of the nation's story. Uh, historic Royal Palaces receives no funding from the government or the crown, so we depend on the support of our visitors, members, donors, volunteers and sponsors. Uh, which is really cool as well when, you know, you do visit obviously and you go around the gift shops, you know that when you're buying stuff and making donations, it is helping to you know, keep the, uh, the thing going and stuff like that. So anyway, right, let's delve in the bag and show you what we've got. Right, okay, so first of all, postcards. So this one here is of uh, King Henry VIII. Now, I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know if it's because I've been reading some Philippa Gregory books lately, but I've become a little bit obsessed with this man. Look at him there. <laughs> King Henry VIII. Now, he's just a fascinating character. Like, he went through so much. And, yeah, he did a few bad things, like, you know, chopping his wife's heads off. But, but I think, you know, I think there's more to him. There's more to the man than we kind of knew. Um, so, yeah, I've got this postcard here. And there's another postcard here as well. Uh, this is beautiful. Look at this postcard here. So uh, there you can see the Tower of London, also uh, Tower Bridge. They're all lit up. This is at night and it just looks stunning. I've never been at night. I've been in the day, obviously, but I've not been at night. So um, I'd like to do that at some point in the future. But how beautiful does it all look? All lit up and stuff. So uh, yeah, I've got those postcards. Now, chocolate. <laughs> Who don't love chocolate, right? Now, this is a funny story. There is actually one missing from this box because I got really hungry on the train home and I just kind of thought, hmm, I know what I've got in my bag, the chocolates. So I did kind of take one of the chocolates. But anyway, here they are. These are so cool. So I'm going to show you these. These are uh, the different crowns. These are like uh, milk chocolate. 
they are delicious they do sell these online as well if you go to the official tower of london like website and the store part of the website you can buy these honestly they're the most delicious chocolate ever honestly uh, so they're little ones here with the crowns on and stuff like that but the ones that i love the best are these look at this so you've got henry the eighth and his wives his many many wives there so we've got Catherine of Aragon, Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour, Anne of Cleves, Catherine Howard and Catherine Parr. Uh, so how cool is that? And what I'm going to do, once I've eaten all the chocolate, because I will eat all the chocolate, um, I'm actually going to cut these out, make like a little art thing for my wall, like a little collage. I don't know if that's really nerd geek like or really cool, but I just, I'm just fascinated with him and his wives and stuff like that. So, and the chocolate is delicious. <laughs> okay at uh, this this is cool this is a raven it's a raven key ring how cute is this raven so if you don't know the tower of london is very famous for its black raven birds and they are beautiful now i'm actually quite scared of birds like if i see a pigeon out and about i'll be like Ugh! but for some weird reason i felt quite calm ish around these ravens and they're massive like i thought raven was going to be kind of pigeon size but it weren't it was, it was huge you look a big big bird and um, but they're so intelligent and they're so clever like one of the ravens that we were watching actually picked up someone like dropped some rubbish on the floor because they hadn't been bothered to put it in a bin and the birds had actually got down picked up the bag of rubbish in its beak and then placed it in the bin like the garbage bin how how clever is that like they must obviously see like the beef eaters walking around and stuff and the staff doing that so they must know to do that i don't know but it's really like weird to watch um, and I did have some really nice photos where there were ravens around me. In actual fact, I put a photo of me on social media and it looked like there was a raven on my shoulder. And people were like, oh my God, how did you manage to get the raven on your shoulder? And I was like, huh? But what it is, it was just, it was on a railing that was behind me. So it kind of looked like it was on my shoulder, but it wasn't. I'm not that brave. Um, but yeah, they just kind of fly around and they walk around you and they're massive and Oh, they're just beautiful, beautiful birds. So uh, we've got some really nice photographs of the raven. So as I say, carry on watching in the video after this part, the shopping hall part, you'll see some photographs and there are some really beautiful like, up close raven pictures. So I had to get myself a little raven key ring. Um, so that's that. That was actually in the raven gift shop. They've got like different gift shops with different themes. The raven one, the beef eaters one, etc. Um, and and I, I picked that up. So I, I thought it was so cute. Uh, now, I love wearing brooches and badges on uh, my, my denim jacket. Now, there is two. Where's the other one? Hold on. It is in here. Here we go. So I've got two brooches for my uh, denim jacket. So first one is carrying on with that raven theme. A nice raven there so cool so cool maybe i should just get my own pet raven <laughs> no i wouldn't do that um but this is the one i love the raven one but look at this this is the one i absolutely adore this was a bit more expensive than that one but how could you not how could you not get this it's beautiful as uh, so this was my kind of little gift to myself whilst i was there and uh yeah it's uh obviously the the queen's crown there and uh it's not focusing very well focus there you go, it's a bit better focus, but it's really shiny. You can see the little jewels there shining a bit. But um, yeah, I think I think it's lovely. Focus on me. There you go, it's focusing again. So yeah, got some little um, badges, brooches, whatever you want to call them. So um, as we entered, uh, we was asked if we wanted a guidebook and a map and stuff. So we've got a little map, um, but we've got a little... Um, information books so this tells you all you know stories and the history of the tower of london uh, this is quite cool to look through you know you really start to learn more and more and uh, whenever we visit somewhere nathan does like getting these books and looking through them. and i do as well i think it's quite interesting you know and you, you do learn more obviously um but yeah this is a cool little cool little book here about the tower of london and uh yeah and there's other places these are the places um that I also want to visit at some point, especially Hampton Court. I really want to go to Hampton Court so much. Um, okay, so this is a snow globe with a difference. I'll give it a shake. That looks dodgy. <laughs> I'll do that instead. Uh, so this is a um, a claw, like a, a skeleton claw hand thing. But inside, look, there's a there's a skull. How cool is that? Is it focusing? Focus on the skull. There we go. It's a bit better. I love this. 
I've always really liked snow globes. There's something really magical about a snow globe. Um, when I was a kid, I had this, uh, well, I've still got it, this little Father Christmas snow globe. And I would just stare at it for like hours. I was like, there's something really uh, magical about snow globes. I love shaking them and I don't know. <laughs> but I like this one because it was quite creepy looking. You know, a bit creepy, a bit spooky. Um, okay, so I've got some lollipops here. These are random, but they are from the Tower of London, uh, one of the gift shops. You've got a cola lollipop, and this is peach. How cute are these, though? So, got some lollipops. Now, me and Nathan both really are into our coin collecting. Nathan more than me, but I'm kind of getting into it as well. It's quite a cool hobby. We collect coins and stuff. Um, and because it's his birthday, I asked him what he wanted, and uh, I got him these coins, different coins for his birthday. Uh, they are part of a set. Uh, they're the Queen Beast Collection. Um, Queen, I can't talk, sorry. The Queen's Beasts Collection. There we go. Uh, they are official Royal Mint ones, so they come in the special uh, folder and stuff, and there's information inside of that. And look at these, so cool. So you've got this one here. This is the Lion of England. So this is actually a UK £5 uh, uncirculated coin. So that is really cool, because there used to be animals at, the Tower of London. Now there aren't. There aren't real animals, but they have like statues of whereabouts they used to be and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so that's the lion. Uh, then we've got the uh, white lion of Mortimer. There's that one there. But yeah, we're really into our coin collecting. It's it's really interesting and fun. Uh, this is the Yao of Beaufort, I think that is. But I love the whole like presentation packs as well. Um, and this one, ah, so this one isn't one of the Royal Beasts, but I really like this one, and he did as well, obviously. Obviously, because it was his birthday. This is um, all about Poppy Day, like the uh, Remembrance Day special coin here. And if you can see, the coin has actually got the poppy on, um, but it's like coloured. So you know, like a coin is just either gold or silver, you know, uh, coloured. This has got like red on it as well. Um, I think it's just so pretty. So... Yeah, I've got him some coins. Oh, and there's one more. Sorry, there's one more. This is the um, the White Horse of Hanover coin as well. So that is that. And I thought, it was, you know, it'd be funny because I was getting him all these proper, like, coins to collect. So I thought, why not get him some chocolate coins as well? <laughs> he can't put them in his little folder and collect them, but he can eat them. So it's all good. They've got the little uh, the little brand there, Tower London brand, on the uh, the label there. So, um, no doubt I'll have a few of these as well. <laughs> okay, and also, last but by no means least, I've got some fridge magnets. Because you've got to have the fridge magnets, right? It's a gift shop essential. If you're going somewhere, you go to a gift shop, you get a fridge magnet. And we tend to do that now. When we go places, we always get a fridge magnet. And our fridge is getting filled with all these different magnets and stuff. Um, so, we've got the crown jewels. That's that one. And we've also got, you know it, it's Henry VIII. That is such a cool one. I mean, I love this one as well, but that one is just, I don't know, pretty cool. Uh. <laughs> so there you go. That is uh, the little haul from uh, the Tower of London. And honestly, I really recommend, um, you know, if, if you like looking around tourist places and stuff, just go. Like, go look around. Uh, my tips for you, if you're going to visit the Tower of London, though, is wear comfortable shoes. Uh, this time I did. I was very sensible. Last time I didn't, and my feet burned uh, and really hurt this time I wore more sensible boots and I, I was walking for hours and hours and hours and they felt fine so wear comfortable shoes there's lots and lots of walking involved lots of stairs um obviously it's old like it's an old castle so there's going to be like high kind of stairs um so make sure you wear comfortable shoes and make sure you have lots of rests throughout the day you can't do it in like an hour well you could but it'd be really pointless but you know if you take your time make sure you have lots of rest sit down here sit down there obviously drink lots of water as well because there is a lot of walking involved like a hell of a lot of walking involved but yeah it's a brilliant place to go. So visit the Tower of London. By the way, I'm not sp sponsored by the Tower of London in this video. I wish I was. Um, but, it, it, you know, it's a great you know thing to visit something with so much history and so much, like, emotion there. Knowing that, you know, people have been killed there and there's been, like, all the dramas, you know, throughout all these, you know, centuries have happened at this place. And, and you just go there and you feel all this 
emotion this history i mean we uh, saw the spot where um people would have their head chopped off like for example you know queen anne boleyn had her head chopped off and you just stand there and you you feel this emotion because they've got like a, an area where you can see what happened and oh it's really it, it takes it out of you it's very emotional and also we visited the chapel um well, we visited two chapels actually that are there and one of the chapels was just so beautiful uh, i mean the other chapel was nice but there was the main chapel and it was just so stunning and they had um like all these candles and if you put a donation in you can actually light a candle uh you know for, for one of the queens obviously uh, or all of the queens whoever you choose to do it for and it's, it's it's really touching and you go in there and, and it sort of says on the outside like on the sign that you must be quiet and stuff like and respectful because it's you know a chapel and, and you go in there and there's this like this eerie silence and like, all the tombs and stuff are there and oh, it's proper emotional but yeah honestly go to the tower of london because it's a really good day out and you know you could spend hours we were there i think like five hours or whatever so you know you, you do have to spend a lot of time there and look in as many rooms and, and stuff as you can um it's so obviously the only thing the only negative thing for me if i'm honest was the height because I've, I've got a phobia of heights and some of the castles especially like the main tower is really freaking high uh so you know i did get a bit anxious because i was thinking well I'm up high but once you kind of get through that it's fine <laughs> there's also this really cool fake cannon thing um where you press all the different buttons and then there's like a screen and then you press the big button and then it goes like a cannon i actually felt pretty powerful doing that i felt i was like royalty like you know just like doing the cannon that was pretty cool and they had those um you know the photograph things where you put your head through that was funny my head didn't fit properly into it but um yeah, I put some hats on my head, you know, the little costume things and stuff. And uh, you see the beef eaters walking around. And it's just, I don't know, it's an amazing, magical place. So go and check out the Tower of London. If you're ever in England, if you're a tourist, or even if you're from England, you know, travel to London, go to the Tower of London. And make sure, you know, you do put some donations in because obviously, you know, that's what they rely on to keep them running and stuff. Um, so yeah, carry on watching for the photographs and tell me in the comments section which photograph you like the best and uh, which item from the haul you like the best as well. And tell me if you've ever been to the Tower of London. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so carry on watching for the photographs. Uh, please click like, comment, subscribe to my channel and check out Minx Laura 123 ASMR, which is my other YouTube channel. Uh, there we go. Okay, here's the photos. Carry on watching. <laughs>